guys it's Lori welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here today I am unboxing my BoxyCharm by Ipsy for February 2024 I can't wait to get into this box I can't believe that we're in February 2024 like I'm not even sure where the time has gone already but this is my February box already so let's get into it when you open it up this is what it looks like I really miss when they had the like squishy foamy uh packing material because I don't really like that paper I mean I guess it's probably more recycling friendly or something but I don't know I miss the little foamy inserts all right here is the little newsletter oh and excuse the disheveled look I feel like I'm a mess tonight this is my like I have been with elementary students all day teaching so uh I normally would have just been like relaxing in my pajamas by now, but I wanted to get this filmed and out to you guys. So excuse the like, I'm exhausted look. Okay, this is the newsletter BoxyCharm. It's a self-love affair. Uh, okay, let me open it up. That's what it looks like. There's a little QR code that you can see your picks. And inside are the power picks. Uh... I see one of my power picks. Another one I think was like a secret, not advertised power pick, but I'm not mad at it at all. And then yeah, there's just some other random stuff on the back. Let's get into the box. All right, so the first power pick that they chose for me that was in the power pick spoilers is from Grown Alchemist. I love this brand. And at first I thought this was a moisturizer that I have used, but I don't think it is. I have used two different day creams from them. I love their matte balancing moisturizer. That is my like go-to nine months of the year. I use that anytime it's like hot at all. Uh, I think I'm still even using it right now, but normally that's my summer, spring, anytime that it's warm. It really, I put it on after serum. It helps really well to keep my face not oily during the day. Um, and then I have the Hydra Repair Day Cream, I think is the other one that I've used. i pretty sure I used that up already. So I'm just down to the Matte Balancing Moisturizer. I, like a year ago or something, in a BoxyCharm sale, got them for like $6 a piece. I have like a drawer full of them because I figured, I don't know if they, I mean, I know they expire. They expire 12 months after open. So I don't know. I love them. These, this is a really expensive brand. And I figured if I keep it in a like dark, cool area, not open, it should be good. I don't know. I'm not out much if they go bad. But anyway, I thought this was the one I, I've used, but it's not. This is a Skin Renewal Day Cream. So I'm excited to have a new one, especially for winter, because I've just been using the matte balancing one, like I said. And my skin has been much drier this winter. If you've been following along on my videos... I had like a terrible rash, uh, some kind of fifth disease reaction. So I had a terrible rash that like reoccurred three different times and my skin just isn't the same anymore. It's much drier. So especially with this winter cold that we're still having here, uh, I'm really needing something that's not mattifying. Uh, I've always had oily skin and all of a sudden my skin's like, nope, I'm going to be really dry. So this is a skin removal not skin removal skin renewal day cream I'm really excited to try this out but if you've never tried the grown alchemist moisturizers I love them they are great I've loved everyone that I've tried so this is the third type that I've tried I swear it's like $90 or $80 or something for a tube like that so I'm excited to get it in my box okay now this is the power pick that I got that was not spoiled as far as I know. Like I don't remember seeing it in the spoilers. It definitely was not on this little sheet here. Yeah, not on the sheet either. But this is the Glowish by Huda Beauty Luminous Pressed Powder. At first I was nervous because like I said, I'm normally an oily girl. And anything that's called Glowish or Luminous, I'm like, ooh, gotta stay away from that. But this really doesn't look glowy. Now, it's not gonna be the normal mattifying powder that I'm used to, but I'm like out of pressed powder right now. I have been like scraping the bottom of my current compact of powder, knowing that this was coming. So I figure 
I definitely don't think this is going to be like my summer go-to powder, but for right now, in the winter, having something glowing and luminous might not be bad for my dry skin. So I'm going to actually try this out. I'm excited. It looks like a good, I mean, it's just a basic light. This is in the shade Fair. So that's what I buy uh, in my normal pressed powder. I'm excited to try this out. Let me know if you guys saw this as spoiler is a spoiler. I don't think it was a, any, anything that I saw. So I'm excited to try out. I've never tried a Huda Beauty uh, powder. I don't think I have any complexion product, honestly. So I'm excited to try this out. Not mad about that power pick either. Okay, so now let's get into the items that I picked. This is the first item that I picked. I remember having kind of a problem deciding exactly what I wanted in this first category, but this is what I settled on. This is the Silk E Hair Serum Repair Therapy. It's 1.7 ounces and it is sealed. Let's see if I can, my nails are like super short right now. Let's see if I can open this to at least show you the bottle. I honestly was thinking this was gonna be bigger. I guess it's a serum, so maybe you don't use much, but this had really, really great reviews. So I am excited to try this out. I don't know if I'm gonna, there we go. I was like, I don't know if I can open this for you guys. My hair right now can use all the help it can get. So I'm definitely excited to try this out. So this is a really small bottle for hair product. Like this is a normal face serum size, not really a hair uh, product size, but I'm trying to see, it says apply small amounts through damp hair before heat styling and run through dry hair for a glossy finish. So I don't know, hopefully this lasts a while. I'm not real hopeful that it's gonna last very long, but I'm excited to try it out. I don't really know much about this brand other than it really had good reviews. So this was my first pick. The second thing I picked is smaller than I thought it was going to be. This is the Tease Suit of Armor Battle Prep Eye Primer. I am always looking for a good eye primer. And so I'm definitely excited to try this out. Like that is a lot smaller than I thought. How does it say how big it is? It's 0.2 fluid ounces or six milliliters. So definitely a lot smaller than I was thinking, but I don't know, this seems like it would be like an Ipsy sample size, not a full size boxy charm item. But I'm excited to try this out. I've never heard of this brand. I did try to look into it before I picked it and I literally didn't find any reviews. Hopefully it's not some like crazy knockoff, uh, you know, fake product. But anyways, it looked good and I am excited to try out a new eye primer. The shade is Blank Canvas. I'm not going to open it yet because I do have two eye primers open right now, but this will definitely be up next in my rotation. I can't believe how small it is though. Like that is tiny. I guess you don't really use much on your eyes, but still I would have assumed that it would have been at least 0.5 ounces instead of 0.2. Is that what it was? 0.2? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, here's the last item. I chose another hair product. I don't know what's gotten into me lately. I've just been like getting a bunch of hair stuff in my boxes. So this is the Satcha One probably not how you say it, styling cream, 125 milliliters, 4.2 fluid ounces. I think it's just a basic styling cream. I don't know why I picked this, honestly. I, I mean, it's a hair product, I'll use it. There must not have been anything else exciting in this category for me to pick the hair cream. Maybe I looked this up and it had great reviews too. I honestly don't remember. It's for straight or curly hair. I obviously have curly or kind of wants to be curly, wavy hair, I don't know. So I'll definitely give this, this a try as well. So yeah, that was my BoxyCharm by Ipsy. I'm just going to grab the items here again to show you. I think it was a pretty decent month. Like, was this worth the... How much are we paying for this even anymore now? Is it $30? I think, well, I got... I've paid the annual price, so I think it works out to like $25 or $27 that I'm paying. Uh, I don't know. I'd say this is worth it. This... Uh, product right here, the Grown Alchemist, is literally like $70, $80, $90 by itself, and I love their products. A hair product, another hair product, a pressed powder that I definitely will use, and an eye primer. I feel like that's worth it. I feel like I did good picking, and I don't know, I know some people are getting tired of not being excited by BoxyCharm, but I think this is a good month. It was an icon month, so... Sometimes it's hit or miss on the icon months, but I'm excited to use these products and 
now I'm excited to go wash my face and put my pajamas on now that I can like finally relax and recover from a full day of being with elementary school students. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. And if you're not subscribed, I would love it if you would do so. And uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching.